when I come to Kingston Youth Centre on a Monday night, um, first of all we sit in a room and we have like circle time, which is like where we discuss like new events, what's going to be happening in the sessions and so on. And then after that, um, my mentor takes me and another girl called Katie into a room and uh, we discuss what we want to do in that session. Usually we'd have like a guitar lesson and a vocal lesson. And then we've recently started working on um, a guitar and singing piece. And it's just, it just helps us develop our skills really well because the piece we've been doing lately, it's got really difficult timing in it. And if we do this piece and we get it up to scratch, then it's just going to mean that any other song we try with weird timing, we're just going to be able to do it. And when Charlotte first came to the club, she um, well, she, she couldn't play guitar at all. Um, well, obviously she had a nice voice, um, but her enthusiasm and through her hard work, she was going to the youth club every week. Um, and she's also joined the youth mentor mentors, and she can actually play guitar really well now. And she's done loads of gigs. She's got a fantastic voice. She's really developed her vocal skills. Um, yeah, and she's done lots of gigs. She's been in a studio and produced a CD. Um, and it's really raised her self-esteem and I've just seen her confidence grow and that's, that's been lovely to watch. Not on my door Asking questions like all the times before what we've been doing actually, we've been over the past few months, is um, I've been teaching how to build chords about diatonic harmony, about skills, what skills go with what chords, um, how to navigate the guitar neck, um, also about vocal harmonies, pitching, breathing. I'm sick of finding answers to your endless list of pointless questions. more times do I have to tell you how Charlotte I came to us as quite a shy individual and didn't really speak to us very much when we st when she started but now she's really confident and come out of herself and is happy to talk to people about the project as you've seen on this DVD still I get nervous when I'm a bite I have to sing in front of people but now I'll ha I'll actually give it a go and I'll do it instead of backing off and saying right I'm not doing this because I'm too scared. Why did you do this to me? It's always the same No matter how many... Yeah, this um, project's been really good for um for young people who've been involved in a lot of youth music projects across the city. Um, it's given them something um, to progress towards. They've been doing sort of learning their instruments in their centres, but it's it's been a great for them to then come and then learn about how they can share that with other people. If you'd have said to me a year and a half ago about that, right now I'd be doing stuff like this, like playing gigs, playing guitar even, because then I wasn't, I'd just not believe you because I've I just feel like I've progressed so much in the past year and a half and it's all only thanks to coming to places like this in Enforp because they've just taught me so much. You know, it's not just for now what they're learning, it's also for the future um, and them, them gaining a career out of it as well. So. It's time for you now to leave me and go your own way I'm sick of finding answers to your endless list of pointless questions. Yeah, I just love doing it and I'd like to carry on doing it throughout my life. So.